Let's talk about the Real Estate Settlement Procedures Act, or RESPA. RESPA is also known as Regulation X, and you should be very, very familiar with RESPA when it comes to the NMLS SAFE exam. So as I said, RESPA is also known as Regulation X, and what RESPA does is it governs oversight of settlement costs associated with the entire real estate transaction. And here you want to highlight settlement costs. RESPA is all about settlement costs. It governs federally regulated mortgage loans for one to four unit properties, which are also known as dwellings. What RESPA does not govern are the following. Loans for agricultural properties do not apply under RESPA. Loans for residential properties of more than 25 acres do not apply under RESPA. Loans for business or commercial properties do not apply under RESPA. Loans for vacant land, unless there will be a dwelling within two years of settlement, does not apply to RESPA. So if it's vacant land, it does not apply to RESPA, unless there will be a dwelling within two years of settlement. Temporary loans, such as construction or bridge loans, also do not apply under RESPA. So what is RESPA's purpose? It helps consumers better understand the cost for settlement. It also prohibits kickbacks, which is providing anything of value to a third party in return for a settlement service referral. Borrowers may only be charged the actual cost of the settlement service. That is something that RESPA does. It makes sure that the borrower is only charged for the actual cost of the settlement service. There are four relevant sections when it comes to RESPA. Section 6, which is servicing section. Section 8, which is for referrals. Section 9, which is the title agent section. And Section 10, which is the escrow section. Let's talk about Section 6, which is for servicing. Servicing involves the collection and tracking of borrower's payments. It also involves the handling of loss mitigation and foreclosure proceedings. Section 8 of RESPA is in regards to referrals. And Section 8 of RESPA prohibits kickbacks. What kickbacks are is basically when there is a provision of thing of value in exchange for a referral. Section 9 of RESPA has to do with the title agent or the title company, and lenders cannot require the use of a specific title company as per RESPA. Section 10 of RESPA has to do with escrow accounts. At closing, the servicer generally charges up to 12 months worth of taxes and insurance and the servicer may charge a cushion of no larger than one-sixth of the estimated total annual payments. Let's talk about RESPA disclosures. There are several RESPA disclosures that you need to know about. The Home Ownership Counseling Organization's List Disclosure, the Notice of Transfer Statement Disclosure, the Mortgage Servicing Disclosure Statement, or the MSDS, the Affiliated Business Arrangement Disclosure, or the ABA or AFBA, AFBA, the initial escrow statement disclosure, the annual escrow statement disclosure, the good faith estimate disclosure, and the HUD-1 settlement statement disclosure. Let's talk about the Home Ownership Counseling Organization's list disclosure. This informs the borrower of local counseling organizations. What the Home Ownership Counseling Organization's list disclosure does is it provides a list of 10 organizations within proximity of the subject property. It's delivered to the consumer ad application within three business days. The notice of transfer statement is another important disclosure. It's also known as the MTS. It informs the borrower that their loan is being transferred to a new servicer. This is delivered 15 days prior to the transfer and 15 days after the transfer of the servicing. This is also known as a welcome letter and a goodbye letter. The 15 days prior to transfer statement is known as a goodbye letter and the 15 days after transfer of servicing is known as a welcome letter. Let's talk about the MSDS or the Mortgage Servicing Disclosure Statement. This informs the borrower that their loan may be assigned to another service provider. It's delivered at application or within three Monday Friday days. This excludes holidays, Saturdays and Sundays. Now, the Affiliated Business Arrangement Disclosure is also an important disclosure to know about, and it informs the consumer of a business arrangement between two parties. It's delivered at the time of referral. The Initial Escrow Statement is also an important disclosure to know about. It explains the amount needed for escrow and breaks down each payment. It's delivered at closing or within 45 calendar days of the establishment of an escrow account. 
The annual escrow statement determines any overages or shortages when it comes to escrow and is delivered within 30 days of analysis. That is 30 days of analysis of the escrow. The good faith estimate informs the consumer of the estimated cost of the completed transaction. And here you want to highlight the word estimated because this is all about the estimated cost of the completed transaction. It's used for HELOCs and reverse mortgages only, and it's delivered at application or within three business days. And finally, the HUD-1 settlement statement or the HUD-1 statement informs the borrower of the final cost of the entire transaction. And here you want to highlight the word final cost because this is about the final cost of the transaction. It's used for HELOCs and reverse mortgages only, and it's delivered at closing or one day prior if requested.